So you're bloated, you're gassy, you're constantly having stomach pains, and you don't know what to do. There's a good chance that this might be some type of chronic digestive disease, or you could have a parasite. Hey guys, Trudy Genius here. Welcome back to The Genius Life. On today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you what are parasites and how to know if you have them. And if you do have a parasite, I'm gonna be sharing with you exactly what you can do in terms of what you can eat, what you should not eat, what kind of herbs you should be taking, what kind of lifestyle you should be having, everything in between so that you can get rid of these parasites if that is what you are experiencing. All right, so let's get right into it. So what are parasites? Parasites Parasites are intestinal worms that live inside of your body and feed off of substances that are meant to nourish your cells, AKA they're eating the foods that you should be eating. They're taking up square footage in your stomach, in your intestines, in all different organs of your body. So we need to deal with that. Now these parasites develop from eggs that have entered your body due to eating things like uncooked meat, so raw meat or partially cooked meat that has eggs, as well as eating fruits and vegetables that haven't been properly washed. Now you can get parasites in many different ways. Literally, you can walk outside barefoot on the grass and you can be exposed to parasites. It depends on the state of your digestive system and your overall body's balance, whether that parasite that you've been exposed to will affect you or not. These are the many ways that you can possibly be exposed to parasites. Number one, traveling to third world countries exposes you to many different things that your body may have not been used to being exposed to. So it's one of those things where you just don't know. You can pick it up anywhere, especially if your immune system is not very strong. It's just like that. You can pick it up. Number two, poor diet, a diet that's high in sugar and refined carbohydrates. Sugar now naturally lowers the immune system. A lower immune system means a weaker digestive system. So it's just that simple. That's another reason why while you are exposed to parasites that you may have actually picked up one or several of them. Number three is frequent use of prescription medications such as steroids, birth control, and even antibiotics. These are things that lower the good bacteria population in your gut, which throws off the balance of the microbiome and thus makes your digestive system system more susceptible to things like parasites when you come in contact with them. Number four, chronic stress and fatigue. If you are constantly stressed within your career, within your home lifestyle, within any part of your life, and it's causing you to throw off your adrenals, throw off your nervous system, maybe you're constantly in fight or flight mode. These are all things that lower the immune system and make you more susceptible to getting a parasite. Number five, drinking contaminated water water, such as water from creeks, lakes, pools. And this is unintentionally or intentionally. You know, you may have gone to a pool and accidentally swallowed some of the water. You don't want to do that, right? But that very well so may have gotten you exposed to a parasite. And it may be the reason why you're having some of the symptoms that I'm going to be discussing next in terms of the things that you can expect to experience if you do have a parasite. Number six, improper hand washing after a bowel movement. So if you go to the bathroom and you don't wash your hands properly, obviously, that's, you don't want to do that, right? However, that can also cause you to pass small microscopic things on handles of the doors. You open the faucet to turn on the water and that can not only pass on unwanted bacteria and possibly microscopic eggs of worms onto other people, but also to yourself. Also exposure from a pet, usually through fecal matter. And lastly, lowered immunity in general. At the end of the day, the level of balance within our body, it all comes back down to the amount of mucus that's in our system and the balance of our microbiome, our gut or our digestive system. If that is thrown off due to any of the things that I listed here, that lowers the immune system and makes us more susceptible to parasites and intestinal worms. 